boys and girls. Hands up if you have ever made a promise. Hands up, shock horror, if you've ever broken a promise. Georgie, did it take me a while to get the Mars bars there to junior youth group? Yeah, yeah. I kept my promise. They got there in the end, okay? Hands up if you've ever kept a promise. Our promises are part of our life. We make them when we're little, we make them when we're big. We make really serious promises till death do us part. We make really small promises. Yeah, I'll put the garbage out, Mum and Dad. And promises are really simple. Baxter, you can come and help me, actually. Uh, You're going to put these up on the clothesline for me, so starting from that end. Promises are really simple. This is what a promise is. Something you say you'll do, and then you definitely do it. Something you say you'll do, and then you definitely do it. Hands up if you like keeping track of when other people break their promises. I love it, because I can keep track of it, and it means that I'm better than them. Hands up, though, if you keep track of all the promises other people keep, only when they apply to Mars bus, okay? But it's really important that when there are promises kept... We remember them because when someone keeps a promise, you can keep trusting them and your trust builds and builds and builds. In fact, in today's passage, which we've just heard Mr. Either read really well, we're going to see a lot of promises that are kept. And let me show you some of them. I'll make you into a great nation. God said that to Abram hundreds of years before. Were you guys listening? How many descendants did Jacob take into Egypt? Seventy. From no kids to 70. So God kept that promise. You will be a blessing, God said to Abraham, hundreds of years beforehand. Who got Egypt out of the famine? What was his name? Can anyone remember? Joseph. Was he connected with Abraham? He was, wasn't he, Andy? So, yeah, God kept that one. God's people are a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, God said to Abraham. What, did God look after the Egyptians as they looked after God's people? Elsa's nodding ahead. That's another promise kept. All the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. Every nation came to Egypt. Every nation was fed because of God's people. Did God keep that promise? Yeah, he kept that one. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. Yeah, did God do that? Brody's nodding his head. God did that as he looked after Jacob and Joseph and all that mob. Thank you, Baxter. Thank you, gentlemen. Just hold there. Just hold there. Can you just see how many promises God keeps? And that's just in today's passage. I I make a promise and I'll break it by breakfast. God makes a promise and he keeps it hundreds of years later. Uh, let, Let me just raise something with you. Imagine if the same God said, hey, listen, I'm going to be dead I'm going to get a room ready in heaven. My own son's going to die for you and save you from your sins and evil and give you eternal life. If God's kept all those promises, do you reckon you'd keep that one? God makes promises. God keeps promises. God's worth trusting. We're going to learn about that today as we look at Joseph and Jacob. How about I pray? And then we're going to get our sheets. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you that you make promises and keep them. Father, we're sorry that we make promises and break them. Help us to keep track of all the promises you keep. Help us to know that we can trust you. And thank you that because of this, you give us a glorious future in Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.